Hello Scorpio, happy birthday season. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to see what spirit has to say in this reading. So this season of Scorpio, I've decided to do an eternal love story. So this is not going to be for every single person watching, but keep in mind time is fluid. This could be a future story for some of you. And for some of you, this could be what's happening now or in the past. So take what applies and let the rest fly. If this this is your story comment below and if not you can always check my channel and your other placements for messages you need to hear but as always please remember to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and tap the notification bell so you can catch future readings for your sign so lovely Scorpios like I said happy birthday I love you guys so much and um I thank those of you who are subscribed to the channel, who are supportive of my channel. Uh, I love your comments and, and all of your messages and just your energy in general, Scorpio. So again, thank you for all of your support. Thank you to those of you who have purchased private readings. Um, and keep in mind, if you're new to the channel, all of my personal information is down below in the description box. For those of you who do want to book a personal reading with me, my social media links, my website and payment app information are all down below. Just be sure when purchasing a private reading that you send me a message letting me know who you are and which reading you've purchased so that I can make sure to get you yours in a timely fashion. So thank you again, like I said, for those of you who have supported the channel in any which way. I'm very excited about this reading. I have a new tarot deck, which I've wanted for quite some time. It is the Tarot of Vampires. So we'll be digging into that. That's why I figured this eternal love story theme would be kind of cool. Y'all know I like my themes. Um, <laughs> so anyways, you guys, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, any other strong Scorpio. Scorpio placements, and of course the crotch watchers for Scorpio. So let's get right into it. I'm excited. Let's see what spirit has to say. For some of you, this may resonate with um, your end of things. And for some of you, this could be the, um, the perspective of your person. So flippy floppy those roles, however they're necessary for you. Uh, what does spirit have to say here for Scorpio? So we're getting two cards out right away. We've got bliss represented by Jupiter energy and we also have power which is the north node so these two cards I feel um, spirit is just telling you that you have the ability to manifest happiness bliss peace into your life um, <clears throat> and maybe that's something that you're craving when it comes to your person. If you feel a very strong and powerful connection to them, feeling like you're being pulled in their direction. And I say this because, like I said, this is the North Node energy, which is all about destiny. And <clears throat> excuse me, now my throat's crack a -lack and, um, <laughs> we're in the middle of eclipse season, right? We are approaching this, this lunar eclipse and it's a chaotic energy, but it's also opening up a gateway for these faded events to begin happening, right? So if you feel as if fate is pulling you in this person's direction, again, a very powerful connection that you have, a very powerful pull or tug from this person's energy, it could be because obviously they make you feel happy, right? Being with this person makes you feel in a state of bliss. And um, this again could also be your person as well. So regardless of what's going on in your situation, there is a very strong and powerful pull towards this person, okay? And, and for them towards you. So let's get one more card here and see what else Spirit has to say about the overall energy between you and this person. What do we have for Scorpio, please? Ooh, oh my goodness. So I'm going to take the one. 
uh, we've got transgression. <clears throat> so when I think of transgression, I think, um, you know, maybe this person has done something to you, okay? Maybe they were a little bit of a snake um, <laughs> or treated you unfairly. But as you can see here in this image, this woman is, is eating her pomegranates regardless. This makes me think of Persephone and Hades. So again, that powerful pull sometimes can feel a bit toxic, right? Especially if this person has committed transgressions against you um, and vice versa. There could be that sort of a, a toxic vibe surrounding the connection. But then we have calling back. So <clears throat> for some of you, okay, this person could have very well gone off in another direction. You can see the motorcycle moving down the path and she's looking forlorn. She's holding these two dolls. Um, you know, you and this person, regardless of the connection that you have, regardless of how close you might feel to one another, there's this element of separation that's popping up. And spirit could be telling you this person could be reaching out to you very soon if they have walked away from you in the past. And I do think it's because of the way that they treated you, all right? They see you, Scorpio, thriving and continuing to move on with your life, um, being that sexy, fine-ass self that you are. And regardless of, of what this person may have said or done or what situation they may have put you in, again, if they've caused you major sadness, they are going to be coming back into your energy, okay? Um, and look at that. The card underneath that is truth. So there's going to be a powerful truth spoken in regards to this connection. Now, if this is not direct communication between you and this person, then there are going to be major truths revealed because, you know, again, if this person walked away from you, Scorpio, or went in another direction, for some of you, this person may have chosen someone else. I do feel that the desire here from the universe, I'm going to say, these faded or destined events that are coming for your energy, it's it's a reminder, okay? It's a reminder that there are not any transgressions that are going to happen to you, Scorpio, that karma isn't going to handle. So if this person put you through something horrifying, um, hurtful, they walked away, whatever the hell this person did, karma's got hands, okay? And they're going to make sure that this person um, is is exposed or revealed and you know what this came up in the recent spicy subscriber reading that I did so if you guys are not already members of the channel that is definitely something to consider um, as a lot of these energy themes seem to uh, repeat themselves right so anyways let me not get on a, a long ass tangent Scorpio I can see this woman here putting this pentacle on this man's chest and he's asleep um, and I do think that this is something that you are trying to manifest into the physical Scorpio. If you, if this is your story so far and this person has walked away for whatever reason, that is what you've been manifesting. You've been manifesting this person to come forward and speak their truth um, or again for the truth to be revealed in regards to the transgressions that they have done against you. Okay? That's what I'm picking up on. So what else do we have for Scorpio? I'm moving into the tarot and we will see um, more of this person's energy let's find out what Scorpio's person is currently thinking and feeling in regards to this connection so we have two now mind you I have shuffled this deck quite a bit um, and we have the Prince and the Queen of Knives coming out side by side. So this is the um, this is the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. So strong Libra energy. But I see this as this person right here. They look sort of in pain. They're howling out into the universe. And then we've got this woman sitting here calmly, right? Mind you, her knife is covered in blood and she's wiping it off as if emotionless because that is the energy of the Queen of Swords, someone who speaks their truth in a 
in a very calm and collected way, but really doesn't have time for any bullshit, right? So if if this person has done you wrong, Scorpio, then they are fully aware that that they did so, okay? They know who they're dealing with. They know that they can't just hurt you, say horrible things to you, treat you poorly, be dishonest with you, and and live to see the day, right? So this Prince of Knives is really speaking to me. It's like whatever happened here, this person is in agony. And I feel like that is what they're heavily focused on right now. We're talking about a message coming your way and we've got two messengers right here, back to back in a progressionary form. The, the knight followed by the queen. So this is telling me that your person's desire for the truth is growing, okay? Um, they're holding this rose. They've got their knife. It's got blood on it too, but it's pointed down, right? So this painful energy that I'm feeling from this person, it's, it's like this person is going to come apart at the seams is what I'm hearing, okay? They're coming apart at the seams because all they want to do is be honest. All they want to do is is say how they feel. Um, and, you know, again, I do feel this person has already said some things to you that were hurtful. And in the end, yeah, maybe it hurt you, but in the end, it's really killing this person, right? The transgressions that they did against you are weighing heavily on their mind. And they feel as if you know, you're, you've cut them off. You've cut them out of your life. I feel Scorpio that you are no longer communicating with this person, but this Raven over her shoulder is telling me you're still getting messages of confirmation in regards to this person regardless. Okay. So even if you've cut them off or you've decided, you know what, I value my integrity. I'm walking away from this person. You're still getting messages from the universe, from spirit about what's going on with them. Okay. Hell, this could be your message right here. Okay. Of confirmation. So what is this person's intentions moving forward? So we have the hanged man. So yeah, you know, I again, we see this individual in agony and so much pain and this red lava that is spilling out of their mouth. Again, lots of metaphors here. This person is going to be falling apart at the seams. They're going to be bursting with the truth because it's too painful to hold it in any longer, okay? Um, the hanged man is a new perspective. It's the universe hanging someone up by their ankles and shaking all the loose change and, and pocket fuzz out of their trousers. This is the universe saying, hey, it's time for you to pay attention, stop what you're doing, and it keeps this person stuck until they can see things in a new way. And maybe that's what they couldn't see before, Scorpio. Maybe they thought that they were doing the right thing or they were somehow sparing you. And listen to my loud-ass refrigerator ice machine chiming in to confirm. This person said some things to you because they thought it was going to be easier. But at the end of the day, they're the ones that are paying for their lies. They're the ones that are paying for how they treat you and the universe is keeping them stuck because of it okay so even though they might intend to move things forward they might intend to live in an enlightened life spirits telling them uh-uh no you ain't not until you acknowledge what you did not until you fix what you've what you've started what you've done and look at that we have the king of swords coming up after that so spirit is forcing this person to see what they've done and to rise up in their truth, to honor their own integrity, to cut out anything or any type of behaviors maybe that they've been entertaining in regards to communicating with you, okay? So again, this progressionary energy, you could be dealing with an air sign. But the king of swords, it's, it's the same as the queen, Okay, so now we have the counterparts here. It's like you and this person are very, very similar. But the problem is, is that this person was entertaining some sort of low vibe energy and it was keeping them stuck. Okay, now they're starting to see the only way that they can free themselves from this is to 
is to be honest, is to be truthful and be um, a man or woman of integrity, okay? Cutting out anyone or anything that continues to keep them in that low vibration, that continues to keep them in that energy of, of being uh, that knight of swords, someone who says things without really thinking them through, hurts people with their words. Um, let's talk about um, what this person truly desires here between the two of you. The two of pentacles. So, yeah, I feel that their desire is to um, is to make a decision. OK, they have an important decision to make. But the two of pentacles to me is also a very chaotic vibe. This person could be making some major life changes right now and trying really hard to build a solid foundation, but I always see the person walking on the tightrope whenever I see this card. They've got a lot to juggle right now, and you know what? For some of them, maybe they're juggling stories, okay? If this person has walked away and they're trying to build some sort of a life, um, on top of the foundation that they laid with you, Scorpio, then they're having a difficult time um, with these changes, okay? They could be juggling side stories and, and trying to... They're trying to keep their lies in order is what I'm hearing. So this person's got a bunch of stories up in the air right now, and they're trying really hard to make it through gracefully. But again, like I said, their desire with you is to build something solid, but it's hard for them to do that because they've already laid this bumpy ass foundation with you, which caused you, I believe, to walk away. So what else do we need to see in regards to this person's energy? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is popping up now. So again, we're talking about destiny. We have the symbol of Jupiter once again. Luck and fortune, okay? Faded events, um, things turning in their favor. So once again, spirit is telling this person, no, you ain't. This is your path, okay? You're not supposed to be over here doing this and doing that. You're supposed to be following your destined path. So I do feel that this person is hoping and praying that their luck is going to turn around in regards to this connection. Um, but I do also feel that destiny has sort of taken place here. Um, this person has done something and spirit has revealed them for it. And now they've they're starting to understand what they're supposed to be doing instead. Now, let's talk about this person's upcoming path. The lovers. So, yeah, you know, clearly this person needs to make a decision, like I said. And this is not just any decision, you guys. This is a decision in love. Your person could very well have a choice between you and someone else. But at the end of the day... Your heart, in my opinion, Scorpio, and not everyone is going to feel this way, but at the end of the day, I feel as if your heart can really only long for one person, okay? Yes, you can love multiple people, but in, in my opinion, I feel like there's always just that one person that your heart and your soul longs for, that calls for. And now we're getting into the territory of soul connections, right? The lovers is a divinely guided soul connection, twin flame soulmate type energy. So this person's path involves... <laughs> coming into union with their destined soul mate, their partner, their twin flame. So Scorpio, some of you who are watching might be thinking, you know, I'm that person, right? You already know that that's, that's what's up. But for this person, it seems like they might be a little bit confused, okay? It's like deep down on some level, they know that they are being guided towards you. They're being guided to come back to you. But with the two of pentacles happening right now, they're trying so hard to juggle, like I said, what they've already laid out on the table for themselves, that they're they're starting to see like, wow, I really just caused myself a whole lot of pain and unnecessary strife because I made this decision. So now it's it's time for them to take accountability for that. And that's where the, the king of swords comes in. 
So let's go ahead and see what else we need to see. Just any other messages from this deck in regards to Scorpio and their person. So we've got the six of wands. So yeah, you know, this person could very well um, have some sort of a reputation to uphold. Okay, they could be someone who is um, very well known or has a lot of people watching them. Okay, but I see the Six of Wands as a card of victory and success. So maybe on some level, this person thought they were winning. Um, but like I said, the same look of, of looking off into the distance, this doesn't really look like someone who's celebrating. Okay, maybe that's what, like I said, on the surface, um, people around them that are watching are wanting them to do or expecting of them and they could be kind of playing along with that but <clears throat> I truly feel that this person's true victory would be to to have the one to have the person who is their divine counterpart king and queen of swords Okay, so the true victory is going to come for this person when they're able to take accountability for their actions and how they treated you and um, move forward into the life that they were destined to have. But until then, what does spirit want us to know? The Ten of Pentacles. Until... Until then, this person could be in a long-term committed connection, okay? But as you can see, this woman is sitting alone. Typically, the Ten of Pentacles is a card where there's multiple family members. Um, abuela's sitting up on the card. There's pentacles in the sky. They're looking up at their estate, right? It's a family affair. But in this card, there's a woman sitting alone by herself, so for me, Scorpio, this could be a couple of different things. This person for now could be feeling very lonely within a long-term committed connection. Um, or this could be an outside energy of someone who is basically sitting on that, sitting on that long-term committed energy and and doing it for themselves, okay? So this could be a selfish partner, um, or again, this could be your person having to kind of go through with this long-term situation, feeling very lonely um, and feeling in their feelings. Now, the skulls represent pentacles. This is a card of Virgo, but this to me looks like an open chalice, which sort of reminds me a little bit of the Queen of Cups, okay? So yes, there are the traditional meanings for each card, but this deck is new. It's very different. So I'm sort of trying to focus on the images and what they say to me more so than the actual meanings. And to me on this card, I see the Queen of Cups. That's what I see. I see you, Scorpio. I see you and your energy not chasing this person, not worrying about what this person's doing. Okay. And, and maybe you are a little bit worried, but deep down in your heart, you know that you've been divinely guided to this person just as much as they know that they've been divinely guided towards you. And sitting there with your goblet, um, you know, watching from a distance, look at these red roses here too. Um, watching from a distance, I feel like you just know within yourself, within your soul, that this long-term connection that this person is involved in or this family situation, whatever the Ten of Pentacles represents for them, you know that it's not going to last forever, okay? You know that whatever this person is entertaining right now, it's not where they're supposed to be. But you're going to sit back on your throne and you're not going to chase this person and you're not going to even offer them your cup of love because you know, you know what the outcome is going to be. You've always known it. All right. And maybe you're trying to manifest the Ten of Pentacles with this person, but first they need to, to get out of whatever situation they're in. Okay. Whatever's been holding them back from you. And now we have the Three of Swords. So now we're confirming that this could potentially be a third party situation for some of you. And for others of you, this could just be um, continuing what I said before about the transgressions. This person could have said some really hurtful things or done something to really break your heart. Um, Three of Swords is also a card of separation. So this is spirit confirming what we were talking about in the beginning of the reading. 
okay? Um, and then we've got the Daughter of Knives. Lots of knives in this reading, you guys. So Spirit's also telling you this person has their eye on you. They are watching you, okay? They're stalking you. They are um, observing you, okay? They could be watching your social media, um, just in general, like checking up on you to see how you're doing. They could be doing this through other people um, or in ways that you're not even aware of, okay? So this person, look, and they're holding the knife too with the blood on it. It's like, again, this person knows they stabbed you in the back, Scorpio, and they can't help but watching you rise from it. They can't help but watching you be unfazed and unbothered, even though they hurt you, even though they made you feel some type of way, okay? You're not going to let that um, affect you, right? You're not going to let that make you get up off of your throne and splash that cup of love in this person's face. You're just doing you sitting back calmly and knowing that this person still has a lot of lessons to learn, okay? And um, now we have the chariot and we have justice underneath that. So like I said, you, you know that this person is going to eventually move in your direction, okay? The chariot is major arcana for fast movement, and it takes balance and stability within in order to do so. So like I said, this person has some lessons to learn. They need to gain some balance in their life. Um, justice does talk of legal matters as well as, um, you know, divorce and separation. So I do feel that this person deep down knows also that whatever that 10 of pentacles is, whatever they've been building, um, on the outside of your connection, they know that eventually this is not going to work out and they're gonna move on. Right. And they're gonna be calling back their Scorpio. Okay, so let's go ahead and move into some Into the Roses and see what is this person's challenge. The Cross. So this could involve religion, right? This person could very well be married. They could be um, struggling with their spiritual beliefs right now and you know, for those of you who, yes, you are in a third party situation and it does involve marriage, then your person could be struggling with, um, not just their own spiritual beliefs, but the pressure of other people in their lives and their spiritual beliefs. Um, you know, people in their lives telling them, this is what you should do. This is how you should be. You should get married. You should do this. You should commit. But meanwhile, this person is struggling with that. Okay. And they have a major cross to bear. Um, what else do we need to see about their situation here? So we have the child. So this person could very well be uh, behaving very childishly. Um, the, again, this could be about a Gemini as Gemini represents the child in the Zodiac. But, um, you know, for some of you, this could be a child in the mix on your side, on their side, this is something that they are struggling with, okay? And I'm not gonna go through all the various circumstances, you know your own story, um, but the child is coming up, okay? And this is the, the Jack of Spades. So again, the Knight of Swords. So, you know, maybe this person, um, maybe this person has said some, like, mean things, harsh things in regards to you having a child, Scorpio. Um, or again, maybe they have said that they don't want children um, or kind of put it, put it plainly that they don't want to have, um, they don't want to have that sort of a lifestyle. Okay. And then also we have the gentleman. So this person is coming up in their challenges, the ace of cups, once again, this person's struggle is to be authentic within themselves, okay? For them to be, um, maybe their struggle is to, for them to love themselves unconditionally, right? Because the Ace of Cups can be a self-love energy, but it can also represent the birth of a child. So again, this person could be struggling with something in regards to that. And 
the gentleman for me represents the king or the emperor, but since this is coming up in their struggles, this person might be having issues when it comes to rising up in their full potential, in their highest version of themselves, okay? Um, what is, <clears throat> what is spirit's advice? The moon, eight of cups. Spirit's advice is to walk away from anything that's not serving. Um, basically saying everything's going to be revealed. If this person has secrets, they're not going to be secrets for very much longer. The moon is about deep feelings being revealed and coming to the surface. And what do you know, you guys, this eclipse that we're about to experience is a full moon eclipse. So you can bet this person is going to be having these struggles coming up to the surface. They're going to be questioning their religion, questioning their their beliefs and, and what they want in life, okay? Looking at themselves and reflecting on their own behavior. We have the child right next to the gentleman. So this person could really be struggling with their identity right now. Um, and look at that. We have the clock tower underneath that, which is the six of swords. So this person is, is being encouraged by spirit to walk away from anything that is not authentic. Walk away from connections where they have to hide their feelings, where they have to put up a front. Spirit saying it's time, okay? It's time to walk away and heal from that energy regardless of what's on the table, okay? Even if it is the 10 of pentacles. Not every 10 of pentacles is you know, the bee's knees, okay? Not every 10 of pentacles is a happy, loving home. Sometimes the Ten of Pentacles is exactly what it is. It's, it's about money. It's about finances. And that is what this person is being challenged to see. Because right under that, we have the Lady, okay? The Ace of Swords representing Divine Feminine, the Queen, okay? So I think this person has a lot of thinking to do in regards to who it is that is their true Divine Feminine, okay? And I'm hearing that song by Celine Dion. Cause I'm your lady and you are my man. So this person is really like, really struggling with an identity crisis is what I'm getting. They're going back and forth and I'm picturing the two of pentacles again. They're going back and forth between what they really want to commit to, okay? They're trying to decide who it is they want to invest in. And unfortunately for some of them, they've already invested in one person and now they're struggling and thinking back like, oh my gosh, I'm in so much pain because of this decision that I made, right? And now we've got the sun to confirm what I just said. Also represented by the ace of pentacles. So yes, this person <laughs> is struggling. Um, yes, they do want to commit. They want to be in a committed connection, one where they don't have to hide in the shadows of the moon energy, where they can be out and about in, in the daylight, okay? Not like a, a vampire hiding from the sun. This person wants to be free. They want to be experiencing happiness, joy, positivity, and a new beginning where they can commit wholeheartedly, okay? So um, unfortunately for this person, though, we now have the whip, okay, which is the Knight of Wands. So uh, I think externally they're dealing with someone who has them whipped, um, someone who is sort of manipulating or controlling the situation. And <clears throat> I do also feel like this external energy is someone who is very impulsive. Um, sure, maybe there's passion and there's good sex and whatever, but at the end of the day, I feel like this person that is lingering in your person's energy is someone who just wants control. Okay, that's really all they care about. Um, it says here abuse and suffering and arguments on the card, hardships. Um, so, so yeah, I mean, y'all already know what's happening. Like I said, with that raven over your shoulder, you've already been getting confirmations from spirit about everything I'm saying. So, <clears throat> Interesting energy, Scorpio. Let's, um, I'm going to pull one more card and see what is the overall outcome here. What is the overall outcome here, Spirit, for Scorpio, please? For Scorpio and their person. So the outcome is the Prince of Skulls, okay? Talking about investing, 
but taking things very slow. All right, we've got the moon behind him. So the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving, but it's someone who is moving that way because they don't want to make any missteps. They know that the energy that they're putting forth, it's, it's lasting, it's real. And this is someone who is consciously manifesting into their physical reality. So I do feel in the end, this person is going to come back, Scorpio. I feel like when they do come back, it's going to probably be a while, okay? And you might be thinking to yourself, like, man, is this person ever going to reach out to me? Um, I do feel that they will. And I do also feel that they're going to... Um, they're going to make some sort of an offer, okay? And... Uh, Depending on what that offer is, obviously use your discernment. Not everyone is going to, um, not everyone's going to get the offer that they want. All right. And I'll just put it that way because the knight is still developing, right? They're not quite a king. So as this person starts moving forward, they're going to, um, they're going to want to move things forward with you, but it's, it might not be in the way that you are expecting. Okay. They might show you and prove to you that they are still invested in you, but there may still be a very slow energy when it comes to you and this person coming together, okay? So let me get a clarity card for that energy, please. Clarity for the outcome, the Queen of Wands. So, so like I said, I do feel in this case scenario, the Queen of Wands in the upright is someone who is sexy, charismatic, a leader, right? Someone who is into their, their rituals and spiritual practices, someone who manifests the life of their desires, okay? So Scorpio, this needs to be you is what I'm going to say, okay? Because that is the reason this person is going to call back. That's the reason they're going to come back around because they can't resist being attracted to your energy, okay? Going back to what I said before, there is a very strong and powerful pull between you and this person, and it's because you are who you are, okay? You're a sexy individual. You are spicy. You are a leader. You're showing this person the way to be, and it's attractive to them, okay? So you're calling this person in. You're attracting them back into your life by simply focusing on manifesting your desires, okay? Manifesting the life of your dreams. And similar to the other card that we talked about, we've got her laying back on the table, um, not making any moves, not doing anything, not forcing anything, not chasing anything, because the Queen of Wands doesn't need to chase. She is a magnet for her desires, okay? Now we've got this panther who looks like he's about to throat punch somebody. So again, I'm thinking of spirit, right? I said earlier, karma's got hands. This person is feeling their world crumbling because they don't have their Queen of Wands. They don't have this excitement. They don't have this passion this spark, this fire that you provide to them. So keep being you. Keep keep manifesting all of your desires in this life, Scorpio. And don't let what this person is going through or doing to you on the outside affect you. Okay? Stay unbothered. Stay in your own lane, okay? Let this person deal with their life lessons without you, all right? So let's get into the eternal messages and see what this person would like to say to you. I've thought about surprising you with a date. So, you know, whether or not they actually come in your direction to ask you on a physical date this person is definitely thinking about dating you okay they've got you on their mind because you know no i don't think i don't think anyone's ever stood up to this person before scorpio i don't think anyone's ever like actually cut this person off and showed them that their behavior was stanky okay and i think that that sort of shifted something within them now they're picturing life with you now they're thinking about investing in you okay so what else do we have to see here 
I'm speaking through songs. So pay attention to any song synchronicities that you hear. You might be hearing very specific songs that are like resonating to your exact situation. That's for a reason, okay? That's this person reaching out to you. I do want to make things right with you. Give me that opportunity. So again, going back to the Knight of Pentacles, this person could be coming your way and hoping that you will give them an offer that you will offer them an opportunity to fix things and to take things slow, okay? Let's see what else this person would like to say to my lovely Scorpios. And then we will get some up in flames messages for you guys. I'm project, I'm projecting. Oh my gosh, that could be a message in itself. This person could have projected some of their issues on you, okay? But it says, I'm protecting this connection. So, Again, if this person is dealing with the whip right now in their life, then any sort of feelings of rejection that you might have towards this person, thinking maybe, oh, they chose this person over me. No, you were being protected, okay? Whether or not this person was consciously doing that, like, oh, I need to protect this person, or whether their subconscious, their higher self was, trust and believe that everything's happening for a reason within this connection, okay? Every rejection is God's protection. We also have just know I'm obsessed with you, okay? So I was like, why are you so obsessed with me, Mariah Carey? So like this person's constantly thinking about you constantly. So if, if Scorpio, if you're constantly thinking of this person, you can guarantee it's their energy, okay? They are calling out for you, whether they realize they're doing it or not, right? What else do we need to see from this deck? Let's get one more shuffle before we move into the other cards. So I act happy, but I'm not, okay? So maybe they're putting on that happy face, faking it till they make it in front of all their family members and, and their 10 of pentacles, right? But at the end of the day, they're not, they're not happy, okay? How could they be happy without their queen of wands? We also have, I am always reminded of you. So everything that they see, every song, every synchronicity that, that they're seeing, it's like impossible for this person to escape. And I'm looking back at the, um, the hanged man card that popped up, right? You saw the hot lava spilling from their mouth. It's like they're without even trying to, this person is going to be spilling their guts, okay? Things are going to be coming out and and whether or not they're trying like I said, whether or not they're trying to cuz sometimes when we harbor a lot of feelings and things like that, it tends to burst out at inappropriate moments. And I have a feeling this person is going to end up revealing themselves, all right? I don't think it's going to be something where, you know, someone else exposes them. No, they're going to be doing this to themselves. And I go back to the Knight of Swords. It's a foot and mouth energy. So expect this person to be revealing their own secrets, okay? Um, and, and again, if you're always reminded of this person, then you better believe it's because they're always reminded of you. Like attracts like. You guys are experiencing the same thing. And then finally, I have been having dreams of you. So, so yeah, and you know, oh my gosh, I said finally, let's rewind. I've been having dreams of you, but then right under that, I want commitment with you, just not yet. So meet this person in the 5d meet them in the astral realm because they definitely want a committed connection with you but the problem is is i feel this person has already committed to someone else okay um this person does not want you to be with anyone else either so yes they have the audacity to be in a third party and then also hope that you're not with anybody like all right cletus I see what you're trying to do. So let's get some up in flames cards from this person and see what their, their nasty thoughts are. Tantric sex. So you and this person could have had some wild sexual connection, right? Um, very, um, very erotic sexual fantasies that this person has about you. And, you know, when they think of of doing the act, you're the person that they're thinking of, okay? That is what I'm picking up on. What else do we need to see? What did I say? Sex me in the 5D. Look, and the card falls off the stand. So, oh my gosh, y'all, I'm done with this little stand right now. I need to glue it down to the table. So, sex me in the 5D. It's because I got like six billion cards on here. 
So yeah, this person is dreaming about you. They're trying to connect with you in the astral realm, trying to experience that, that sexual, sensual energy with you. Um, and let's get a couple more. Mm, we have mind fuck. So yeah, that's exactly what this is, right? Scorpio, this whole reading, I've been thinking to myself, this person is... <laughs> You must be thinking to yourself, is this person fucking with me? Because how can the energy be so intense between me and this person, yet they're off gallivanting in some other situation, right? But it is. It's a mind fuck. And it's a mind fuck for this person because, again, if they're committed in another situation, can you imagine how confused they must be as to why they still feel so pulled towards you, Scorpio? Um they're probably just as confused. So let's get one more. And then we have fetish. So there's something that you and this person have done. Um, or again, if this is a fantasy that this person has, then whatever fetishes they have, like I said, you are their star in, in their fantasies. Okay. Maybe some of you, um, really like, you know, lingerie, stockings, high heels, those type of things. Um, some of y'all may like the may like the serious vibe looking like everything's normal under the, and then the, under the trench coat, you've got the full get up, like whatever this person's fetish is, you're the one that they're thinking of, period. What else do we have? And then we have sexual tension. Yeah, you know, and obviously that's going to be evident, especially in a situation of separation. If you and this person are not able to be physical right now, this person and you have a lot of tension between you. Um, so, yes, very interesting, Scorpio. I hope that this reading resonated with you. I know it was a little bit long, um, and I'm not going to be doing long ones for all the other signs, but um, it is your birthday season after all. So like I said, hopefully this reading resonated to your situation. If it did, I'd love to hear from you in the comments. And if not, I encourage you to check out your other placements. Maybe there is another message for you in there. So anyways, Scorpio, I hope that you enjoy the eclipse full moon energy coming up this week um, and of course the rest of your birthday season please stay tuned I will be posting a uh, intimate extended reading for you probably late next week okay so anyways guys I love you and I will talk to you again soon bye